Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at the Red Playing Cars 1 Lightning McQueen, the Rusty's Piston Cup Racer number 95. Now, before I get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, Lightning McQueen is the main protagonist throughout the whole Cars franchise. He is a generic, handmade, one-of-a-kind, custom-built well, piston cup racer that is sponsored by Rusty's and bears the number 95. Although his original number was meant to be 57 as a shout out to John Lasseter and Mater's birth year but was switched to but changed in, but incidentally changed to 95 to as a, to dedicate the year that Pixar's very first feature film Toy Story came out in theaters he Anyhow, Lightning lives in radi in a town called Radiator Springs, in car on routes on the historical Route 66, and he in Carburetor County, Arizona, and was voiced by Owen Wilson and sometimes Keith Ferguson, like Mater's. Mater's Tall Tales, for example. Anyhow, during his appearance in the first, during his, and during his appearance throughout the Cars film, but before that, he was originally sponsored by Smellswell Deodorizer before he was fired, fired in favor of another racer named Smokin' Sammy Smelter, who was barely seen and then he then met with Mac and he took him to meet his new sponsors Rusty and Dusty the Rusty's brothers he then he was the, who was looking for a new spokes car he then got switched from this paint job to this paint job to replace a previ the previous Rusty's racer number zero one that had recently had a crash, and so, and and as it shows in Cars three, he had he had won his very first victory at Glen Ellen Speedway. Anyhow, during his and now, can we just cut to the chase? I mean, let's just cut to the chase. So anyhow, during his appearance throughout the Cars film, in, he began his racing career as a rookie in 2005, on the same year that he won his first race at Glen Ellen Speedway. He was, also, he was one of the racers that attended the Dynaco 400 at the Motor Speedway of the South, the final race of the 2005 Piston Cup season. He, he was up against a, lo a lot of race cars, including his toughest competitors, his racing rival and arch enemy, Chick Hicks, and the retiring seven legendary seven-time Piston Cup champion, Strip the King Weathers, yes. who was on the verge of retiring, and who, who would ever won win the Piston Cup would get the Dynaco team after the King had retired. But there was just one problem. Lightning wouldn't listen to his pit crew, which even not Chuck, which resulted in, in having a blowout in both of his rear tires, thus resulting 
in a three-way tie. And after the race, his pit crew was fed up with not having to work for a, for a racer that, that doesn't, didn't have a crew chief, and so they just quitted. Hence why he, Lightning had fired three crew chiefs on the same year in 2005. And he, and he, dream, he also dreamed of when becoming a Piston Cup champion and also dreamed of becoming the new face of Dynaco and having autographed signatures, fancy tents, and a private helicopter. And he, would, and he was determined to get them all after he had won the Piston Cup and the King had retired. When a tiebreaker, when the, when a tiebreaker race at LA International Speedway was announced, he wanted to be the first to get there, but he had to make a personal appearance with his sponsors, with his sponsor Rusty's, owned by Rusty and Dusty. As it turns out, he hated Rusty's and Rusty cars at first, and he would, and he wanted. Fancy tents and a private helicopter, which is rear or turbo sky, not medicated bumper ointment, and, and he would get them all once he had won the piston cup. Lightning shuddered as he entered the, his sponsor's tent and, and was greeted by the Rusty's brothers and his Rusty's fans, including Fred. Ed. And after his personal appearance, he, he set off for California with his hauler, Mac. But along the way, he got, he got separated from Mac by falling out of his trailer and into the middle of incoming traffic and tried desperately to search for Mac, but with no prevail. Confused and lost, Lightning turned on, took a detour on an old highway known as Route 66 and ended up being chased by a police car named Sheriff. And he then stumbled upon the small town of Radiator Springs when he ran into just about everything. And he even tore up the, main, the town's main road with... Stanley, the town statue. He was then locked in the impound with a parking boot on his left front tire and was greeted by Mater. When they entered the courtroom, he was greeted by a group of angry townsfolk. And then, an official-looking blue car named Doc rolled onto the named Doc Hudson rolled onto the judge's podium. And when he saw Lightning, he stopped short and then ordered him out of the courtroom, much to Lightning's pleasure. Then, a beautiful blue Porsche 911 in Carrera named Sally had entered, who pleaded Doc to reconsider and explained how that if the road wasn't completed it, the the town they would lose more of their business which forced doc to change his mind and resentenced lightning mean to stay in radiator springs and fix the main road with bessie lightning tried to escape but he then ran out of gas and met up with sheriff and sally who, as it turns out, that they had siphoned their gas while he was passed out in the impound. So anyhow, Lightning got to work with Bessie and started repaving paving the road, but was very sloppy. And 
Doc had ordered him to sh shovel and start over again. But then, but when he found out that Lightning is a race car, he then challenged him. Doc then challenged him to a one-lap race at Willie's Butte. And and guess who was, and guess who was the winner of the one-lap race? Yep, you guessed it. It would. Yep, you guessed it. Lightning then went back. Then the next day, he found Lightning at Willie's Butte, and then coached him about how power sliding lessons, A.K.A. turn right to go left. But then he, but then Lightning took his advice far too literally. When he and when he began more work on the road with Bessie again, the whole town spoke. Even Sally, who offered him to stay at the Cozy Cone Motel in Cone Number One, he they began sprucing up their shops, making the whole town brand new. And. And later, May, then later that night, Mater invited Lightning to go out tractor tipping, which Mater taught him how to be, how to tip tractors, then how to, and then he taught Lightning how to drive backwards and how to be a great friend. But he hadn't forgotten. But he, but then lightning promised, lightning promised to Mater that once he get the Dynaco team and bear the Dynaco blue, after the Keen had retired, he would he would offer Mater his very first helicopter ride. The next morning. As he waited for Sheriff to give him his ration of gas that he and Sally siphoned out while he was in the impound, he, he stumbled upon something in Doc's old garage. His three piston cups and a newspaper clipping. As it turned out, that Doc was a very famous race car known as the Fabulous Hudson Hornet. He tried to tell the whole townsfolk, including Mater, about Doc's racing days, but nobody believed him. And Sally invited Lightning out for a drive. Right? Right? Up to the we the to the wheel well mo the abandoned wheel well motel, which used to be one of the most popular stops along the mother road of Route 66. She then explained how she came to, how she used to be an attorney in LA and how she found a new home in Radiator Springs. When they looked over the mountain down, down steep to the town and as well as Interstate 40, she then explained how Radiator Springs and its inhabitants mean to her and and how it got bypassed to save 10 minutes of driving due to the interstate being built. He then also, then later that evening, during a tractor stampede, I mean, he, he, he watched Doc's power sliding lessons and learned, learned from Doc of how the racing world had betrayed him, when he showed, when Doc showed Lightning, a, a newspaper clipping of his crash in '54. The next day, when the road was finally completed, 
Lightning didn't want to leave, because he wanted to stay a little bit longer and help the other town's folk. He then got switched from this paint job to this paint job, and it even surprised Sally. Then at that moment, what? Mac rolled into town, accompanied by a swarm of paparazzis, including Cory Turbowitz. And as it turns out, that Doc had called the paparazzis to kick lightning out of Radiator Springs, which surprised the whole townsfolk, even Sally, and Mater, who didn't even get to say goodbye to him. Although I still admit, it, maybe it was very selfish of Doc to kick Lightning out of Radiator Springs when he was actually trying to help the whole townsfolk back on the map. But what do you think? Was it actually selfish of Doc to kick Lightning out of Radiator Springs when he was trying to help the whole townsfolk back, bring the town back on the map? Leave, leave, let me know what you think in the comments down below. So anyhow, no. Lightning should have stayed focused on the tiebreaker race at LA International Speedway, but but kept daydreaming about the his new friends from Radiator Springs, even his drive with his new girlfriend Sally. Which as a result, the race had started without him. But surprisingly, the most of the townsfolk, including Mater and Doc Hudson, who re-emerged as the fabulous Hudson Hornet and Lightning's new crew chief, arrived in Lightning's pit, which surprised many fans as well as the Arsene Network during his re during the, his race against the Keenan Chick Hicks, Lightning had a couple tricks to try. Hit Mater's power sliding lessons and, I mean, I'm sorry, I mean Mater's backwards driving lessons and Doc's turn right to go left lessons during the final lap. And when the crowd gasped, when the King Bear rolled into the infield, caused by Chick Hicks, he then forfeited the Piston Cup to, to Chick to help the former legendary reigning champion across the finish line to end his racing career, which impressed the, his new friends from Radiator Springs, as well as the paparazzis and fans. He was then congratulated by by the the townsfolk of Radiator Springs, even Doc, who who said that he had a lot of stuff in him, his sponsor and fans, and even Tex, who offered him the Dynaco team. But Lightning s stated that he didn't win, and her and and learned from text that there's a whole lot more racing than just winning. So, but, but Lightning stated that he, that his sponsor, fans and pit crew, new pit crew, had gave him a big break and decided to tur object the offer because he, he already had a sponsor and a pit crew that he liked. However, he hadn't forgotten his promise to Mater, his very first helicopter ride. Then, later on, on during Mater's first, while Mater had his first helicopter ride, he then switched from this paint job to this paint job, and he and he decided to. Day in Radiator Springs since, and then informed Sally, Lee, that 
the whole town was back on the map, yep, and his big racing headquarters was being moved to Radiator Springs. And he now, and since then, he now stays in Radiator Springs with Mater as his BFF and Sally as his girlfriend and Doc Hudson as his men as his mentor back then. And during and during and in Cars the video game and in car and then in Cars the video game he this paint job was was served as his default paint job while he was explore when he when you select him while when you explore Radiator Springs and train him to win the Piston Cup. As as it shows that in two thousand six he he met locals in Carburetor County and trained to win the Piston Cup against Chick Hicks. And he also wore this paint job in two Cars Tune and Mater's Tall Tales episodes, Rescue Squad Mater and UFM, Unidentified Flying Mater, and was even unlocked uh, as a downloadable paint job in the Cars Fastest Lightning app. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we've got his happy facial expression, his smile with the black between the teeth, which kind of resembles the Precision Series Cars 1 version of Cars 1 Lightning McQueen, and his bright red paint job and his 95 on his headlight stickers, and on the hood we've got the retro Rusty's logo and the, the lightning bolt stickers, and and on the left side, we've got the yellow 90, number 95 with the retro yellow, retro yellow lightning bolts and the Rusty's logo and the gas cap and the red rims on the black wall light your tires and the exhaust pipes and several contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Nitrate, Revolting, Mood Springs, Octane Gang, Vitaline, No Stall, Gas Sprint, Gaskets, Easy Idle, Little Torquey Pistons, RPM, Leakless, Retread, and Clutch Aid. And on the top, we've got the number 95 and the, his name signature saying Lightning McQueen and on the spoiler we've got the Rusty's logo and on the back side we've got the 95 on the taillight stickers and the Rusty's logo and the yellow rookie stripes with the slogan medicated bump ointment and on the right side similar design but completely different and that is it now let's compare him to the other Cars 1 Lightning McQueen without the Rusty's logo on the spoiler. So, here are some similarities and differences. Both are Lightning McQueen. Both bear the 95 for Rusty's and the Piston Cup. But here are some differences. Rusty's logo on spoiler, no Rusty's logo on spoiler. Now for the undercarriage, both made in Thailand, but there's another difference. This version's wheels are big, while this version's wheels are a bit thinner. So, this version of Lightning McQueen was released in 2006 well and and Mattel didn't even release put add the Rusty's logo on the spoiler but was corrected in 2008 when this version came out and has been released countless times in singles two packs and multi packs so I got this version of of Lightning of 
corrected Cars 1 Lightning McQueen with the Rusty's logo in a two pack with Dexter Hoover for back in 2019 as part of the Blue Desert series. So therefore, it's goodbye playing Cars 1 Lightning McQueen. Hello. I mean, goodbye, Lightning McQueen without Rusty's logo. Hello, Lightning McQueen with Rusty's logo. And now, let's compare him to the other Cars 1 Lightning McQueens that share his diecast mold. We've got Dynaco Lightning McQueen, Ton Lightning McQueen, Finish Line Lightning McQueen, Cactus Lightning McQueen, Dirt Track Lightning McQueen, Cruising Lightning McQueen, Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen, and Smell Swell Lightning McQueen. Lightning, oh, and I forgot to mention that Lightning even made, made a cameo in in Pixar's other film, Finding Dory. And now let's pull up some of the other, the other er, Pixar Easter eggs. We've got Strip the King Weathers, Davy Apex, Davy Apex, who Whose sponsor, whose sponsor appeared in Toy Story 3 and the other Toy Story 3 cameos such as Van, Snot Rod, and Finn McMissile. And the other Pixar Easter eggs, we've got Todd, who appeared in the Pizza Planet truck, who appeared in most, most of Pixar's films. Sheriff Woody, Buzz Lightcar, Ham, who shares the same voice actor as Mac, Michael Mike B. Wazowski, Luigi, who appeared in Finding Nemo, Doc Hudson, who made a background cameo in The Incredibles, and finally, Mater, who, who shares the, who has the Pixar code number A113 on his license plate. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which Cars 1 Lightning McQueen body mold is your favorite and which Pixar cameo Easter egg is your favorite also. Leave your thoughts as well as suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. And also, please consider the support by checking out my other videos on my YouTube channel. And I'd like to thank my subscribers and my public watch hours for your continued support. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!